Today, we're gonna to be taking a closer look at the mysterious physical release of Demon Pit for the PlayStation 4. It had a bit of an awkward stealth release to say the least, and currently there's an ongoing contest amongst the first few people to have opened their copies. But to give a bit of backstory for those of you who are unaware, this was released by a parody publisher that goes by the name of Limited Rare Games, an amalgamation of two existing companies' names, Limited Run Games and Super Rare Games. So this is Limited Rare Games' third release, with the first one being Poop Slinger, having something like only 80 copies sold. Next was Tamashi, and finally the third game that we'll be looking at today, Demon Pit. Each of their releases go unannounced and are usually only on sale for a few hours. Meanwhile, there'll be several outages and server issues that routinely plague the company during the short-lived sale. This ensures a frustrating experience for most that participate and mainly serves to limit supply while increasing demand. This is why you see Poop Slinger and Tamashi being sold for thousands of dollars on eBay. And already we can see Demon Pit currently flooding the marketplace. So as you can see, this is a legit release. It has all of the official markings. We have an authentic ESRB rating, which can be verified from the ESRB's website. On the back, we have a few screenshots along with the game information. Arise, Demon Hunter. It is time. The years you spent slaughtering demon kind in the mortal world did little to cleanse your soul. Your sins have been laid bare and you have been judged. You are damned for eternity. The pit awaits. So yes, this is an intense arcade style arena shooter with a classic 90s FPS aesthetic. But rather than making your way through various handcrafted levels, you'll be going up against waves of demons in an ever-changing arena. Now one interesting bit you may notice here is that there seems to be a strange code on the back. Well, due to the scarcity, a lot of collectors keep games like this sealed and would instead play a digital copy if they really want to get into it. But if curiosity got the better of you, you may be wondering about this strange code. If we try to enter it into an online decryption tool, it suggests there is a high probability that this is a ROT47 cipher. So if we decipher the code, it gives us the message, surprise is inside, encouraging us to open the game. Inside we have a fold out insert and the game disc, nothing too special here. The insert has some art on one side, and on the other side, we have simple instructions and a message from Limited Rare Games, telling us to send them a direct message and wait further instructions. Well, they are no longer taking new messages, but originally, messaging this address resulted in them asking if you would like to play a game. If you say yes, they would have you answer a bunch of questions with pictures and answers to verify that you indeed own an opened copy of the game. So there is a group of people that are now currently participating in a contest to win a... Well, let me just read what they say exactly. I'm sure they could put it more eloquently than I could. So it says, these legends are now on a quest for a prize beyond their wildest brains can dream. Here are just some of the heroes now questing. Wish them luck, they need it. So yes, a prize beyond their wildest brains can dream. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. Earlier, they had hinted at having a cover variant for Demon Pit, so it could be that, who knows? But for now, contestants aren't allowed to divulge any further information or they will be disqualified. Moving on to the disc, everything looks normal here, but there is a message at the bottom, turn over to see surprised face. This is sort of a nod to the Bard's Tale PlayStation 2 disc, which had a message that read, for a really disturbing image, flip disc over. And obviously the other side of the disc is reflective. 
but sending in a picture of your surprised face reflecting off the back of the disc must have been one of the requirements for this contest because Limited Rare revealed a bunch of these pictures coming from the various participants. Anyway, after quickly popping in the disc, I can verify that it is indeed Demon Pit. Another interesting thing to note is that the included insert has the letters LRG-03-MAN. Well, LRG is obviously limited rare games, it's the third release, and this is technically the manual. Well, if we look at the back of the box again, you'll see the code LRG-031-COV. So, limited rare games, third release, first cover variant. As we know, there is at least one other cover variant that hasn't been distributed yet. Also, just to eliminate confusion, their first release was actually labeled 2 on the back of the box, and the second release was labeled 1. But it was revealed by Limited Rare that they went with number 2 for the first game because it's called Poop Slinger. Obviously, number 2 being a reference to pooping. But anyway, that is where we'll leave it for now. I'll be sure to update you all as this progresses. I'm kind of curious to find out how this contest ends and what happens from here. If you want to know more about Poop Slinger, I have another video on that detailing all of the information on their first release. That is going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.